Hello there, my name is Lucas, and uh, when you follow my channel a bit longer, you may uh, remember, maybe, uh, my review of the lane P03 that I did uh, in the beginning of last year, in 2013. I was at the Baltic Sea with my girlfriend, and there I tested this nice little stabilizer on the beach. And um, it was very cold, but it was a very nice trip there. So, um, so far I was able to use this little stabilizer in a few projects right now. Uh, Actually, pretty much, pretty many projects so far. Um, I was always pretty heavy with it. It's not the most compact one, it's pretty small, but you cannot detach the feet, however. The gimbal is really great, and it's pretty cool to, to balance because of the, the system how these knobs work. However, um, that is uh, some kind of the past, and so now let's uh, take a look at something new. So now what I have here is the brand new, or actually it's not that new, however it's much newer than this one, of course, um, the Lane P04 stabilizer. When we look a bit closer at the Lane P04 stabilizer, we can see that it's actually not that different in the, in the initial design from its predecessor, the Lang P03. However, uh, it has some nice features, and I think uh, for some kind of this review, because I own both of these, let's take a first a look at the differences and the similarities of these two products. So the most obvious difference in both may be the size, because the P04 is just a tad higher, a bit bigger than the P03. And the second thing that is also, of course, a pretty um, obvious thing is the pole design. So on the P03, we have a common aluminum pole, which is fine and nice. However, on the P03, we have a carbon fiber pole, which is cool because it's more modern and it reduces the weight and, of course, gives us much slicker modern look. Another pretty obvious difference in these two stabilizers is the plate design of the plate that mounts on the stabilizer. So on the P03, we have a pretty uh, normal long hole. However, on the P04, we have a lot more mounting options. So I um, placed an Arcus with plate here, so for quick release, because I use the Arcus with system a lot. So this doesn't ship with this plate, of course you can attach any plate that you want to it. And more, because we have a lot of holes, a lot of threads, uh, long holes and whatever you might need to mount your camera. And this is a pretty cool thing. Another cool thing, which I think is also a very cool and very new and important feature, however, is the ruler that we have here. You can see we have some scale here, so with, with values. So if we have a certain setup of camera and lens, um, we can just hook it up here and maybe note ourselves in a notebook or wherever, uh, where to set uh, the camera on the scale and we can on this way balance the stabilizer a little bit quicker. So one thing that really annoyed me with the P03 was this, you know, that the foot rotates around itself when you lose the screw to extend the pole. So sometimes, or in the actually in the end mostly, you just want to keep it in line with the camera. Not an easy task with the P03. However, they addressed this issue with the P04, so we are not able anymore to rotate the foot, so it always stays in line with the camera, makes it much easier to balance. While we're talking about balancing, there's one cool feature that wasn't featured on the P03, but is featured on the P04, and this is, you cannot only add weights or detach weights for the proper counterbalance, what we can also do for proper balancing is we can uh, move the weights to the outside, for example, or to the inside to uh, get proper balancing. And sometimes uh, this is a really important thing to get the proper balance. So, you know, I'm not a rocket scientist, you know, and, but, um, and I can't like, explain to you why this is. But there was a pretty cool demonstration of a video of the Steadicam pilot. And I will post a link here somewhere and maybe just check it out to see what I mean. Of course, as always in life, new isn't always better. There's one little thing that really um, was better, in my opinion, on the P03. And this is a very simple and very small thing, actually. So what I mean is uh, the water level. So we have the water levels at here at the head. So when I have it in front of me, I can look uh, it on the position of my eyes. You know, I can sit here and I can uh, use the quick adjustment knobs and I see if I'm in water right away. So this is not really possible anymore with the P04 because the water level is now down here at the foot. Obviously I don't have the best eyesight, so personally for me it's better to have it right on my eye line uh, to see if I'm uh, in balance or not. However, there's a few things that we can do about this. For example, we can just add a water level on top of our camera. These are these things are go around three dollars, I don't know. And then when I attach the camera on my stabilizer, I can see uh, if I'm in balance or not. So this is a very cool fix 
for this. I mean, it's not that bad in the end. Yeah, however, it's something that bothers me personally. Another very cool thing is, great improvement, we get a bag. As you can see, uh, the stabilizer fits in here perfectly. So now that we looked at the differences of both stabilizers, maybe look at the things they have in common. So we still have um, the pole to extend, we still have the weights on the, on the bottom of the stabilizer, of course, as I showed you before. We can still change the position of the handle, which is very important for getting proper balance. And personally, what I love that they left it is we still have the great quick adjustment knobs on the head. So as before, we have this lever here and this lever here, this little knob here. And with these, we can then use uh, uh, the fine adjustment knob, which is pretty cool because on this way, we can really fast and really uh, easily uh, get proper balance. So you can see when I screw this screw here, this little knob here on the side, we can shift it left and right. Of course, uh, this one is for front and back. And uh, this is a really cool thing because um, the, the ability uh, and the way you can adjust uh, the balance of the camera on top is simply amazing with the legs. You know, at this point in time, we usually look at the well-produced high quality footage that we shot on the stabilizer. However, I tell you what, uh, the P04 is just as good as the P03, only better. You know, it just has more features, uh, works a lot better. So I thought I wanted to do something different today. One thing that really grabbed my attention with this camera stabilizer was that it can hold up to 10 kilograms of weight. So I thought I just get my Blackmagic Cinema camera on here, you know, because it's pretty heavy. I hold it only with my arm and then I uh, rode with my girlfriend into the woods on a hill and just thought, uh, I will give it a try there in the bitter cold. So maybe uh, let's entertain ourselves by seeing me struggle with the Blackmagic Cinema camera and the Lang P04. Pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, okay, it was kind of lame. But do you know how heavy this setup is? It's not easy to carry it only with your arm. So instead of bothering you with the usual stuff, I thought it would be pretty cool if we combinate uh, the footage that we take with the P04 together with the one that we should with the Kovacam arm and vest combination. And um, yeah, very soon uh, I'll have a professional Steadicam operator helping me out with the review. So we see this little guy and this big guy here, obviously, in a combination and see how well this one performs. So we are at the end of the video again. So this is the Lang P04 stabilizer, a very cool product, much appreciated um, improvements over the old P03. So if you want to stay tuned on the footage that will come very soon, you may subscribe to my channel. Um, else, I still thank you for watching and uh, i see you next time. Bye.